right, let's do this. You remember when I did the video putting the 30 betas in this tank? Well, unfortunately it didn't go that well and something happened along the way and it's time to talk about this. I obsessed for months over this tank and I tried to do everything right, but unfortunately I broke one of the cardinal rules. When I say I broke one of the cardinal rules and knowing this is a new tank, it's natural to assume that the mistake I made was putting the fish in before the tank was cycled. Well, that's not it. This tank was running with fish in it for about two months before I stuck the betas in there. I was testing the water throughout the whole process. The cycle was complete probably about a month before I even put the betas in. So if it wasn't the cycle, then what happened? Did the betas beat each other up? Nope, that wasn't it either. These fish were actually already together. So what was it then? So I did what Lisa does and I went shopping and I bought a dozen quarry cats. I decided I was gonna put six of them in here and the other six in with my purple emperor tetras. Well, that was a big mistake. One of the biggest mistakes I've ever done. The reason why, I didn't quarantine. I didn't quarantine my quarry cats before I put them in with my betas or with my purple and tetras. I thought, you know what? It'll be okay. They look healthy. They're really active. There's nothing wrong with these fish. They're gonna be perfectly fine. And that's when I messed up. So a few days after I added the quarry cats, I started noticing some changes. The fish weren't acting quite the same way. Some of them were a little lethargic, others not eating as much. And then it seemed like my fish just weren't acting at all like they did when I first put them in the tank. It wasn't an aggression problem. I had taken out the aggressors in the very beginning. So something else was going on. So what's the first thing you do when your fish start acting kind of funny? You do water changes, you test your water, you do all those things first. So I did that. But then they started dying and I was just devastated. I took all the betas out and I split them up into small groups and six or seven tanks. I started treating them, even the ones that weren't behaving oddly, I decided I wanted to treat them all, even the Danios. After I got the betas out of here, the Danios, and lost every single quarry cat, I realized that this was a bigger problem than I thought. This is a tank that I had my Purple Emperor Tetris in, and the exact same thing started happening in here. First the quarry cats died, and then one at a time, the Purple Emperor Tetris started dying. I was so preoccupied with my beta sorority tank that by the time I realized something was going on in this tank, it was too late. Even trying to medicate the tank in the fish and doing everything that I could have possibly thought of doing, it was too late. I ended up losing every single one of my purple and protectors and that just broke my heart. So what was it that killed all of these fish? I don't know what it was. The only connection between the two tanks was the quarry cats and they weren't quarantined. This is why it's so important to quarantine your fish. I would have never done this with my discus. I didn't do that with my discus. When I got the Romy Nose Tetras, I quarantined those for six weeks. I should have done the exact same thing with those quarry cats. But why didn't I quarantine them? I didn't quarantine them because I was in too much of a hurry to get this on YouTube. I allowed wanting to make a statement and get this on YouTube to cloud my judgment. I love being a YouTuber. Like I said earlier, I took all the betas out of the tank and I quarantined them again and treated them with general cure and did a lot of water changes. As far as the 125 goes, I couldn't catch every single Danio. I left a few in, so I needed to treat this tank too. So I treated this tank with general cure, did constant water changes, and once things were back to normal, I started adding the betas a few at a time. Every few days, I'd add a few more. 
While I was going through the quarantine process all over again with my betas, I had ordered some beautiful little Harlequin Rasboras from Bob at Steamfot Aquatics. I'll put a link in the description in case you want to go check those out. So I have 18 betas now in here. One of them I got from the Aquatic Experience, and of course there's Gatto who survived a car crash. And I've got, let's see, I have 10 of the Harlequins and nine of the Danios and two Bristlenose Placos. So what about this tank? Well, after I murdered my Purple Emperor Tetras, I started treating this tank and doing constant water changes. And I decided to take Reno's Guppies and put them in here because Reno's Guppies have multiplied by a zillion. So that left a couple tanks over here empty and I can't have empty tanks. This here was Reno's tank. I had all the guppies in here. I bought 10 guppies from Petco and they multiplied into about 100. So I needed to get those out of here anyways and that's why I went ahead and put them in the 75 gallon. But now, because I had an empty tank, I decided I needed to get some new fish for my 90 gallon that I won at the Aquatic Experience. I picked up these cute little angels and I stuck them in here so that they could quarantine for a while. Since they're so small, I decided to separate them from the bigger angels that I bought because I want to grow them out to be the same size. So with these fish, I'm going to feed them three times a day, water change them more often, and just feed these angels once a day. That way, hopefully, I can get them to be about the exact same size. This is the 90 gallon that I wanted the aquatic experience. I'm still not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it as far as hardscape and substrate and all that kind of stuff. But I do know that angels are gonna go in this tank. Woohoo! So as embarrassing as it was for me to do this video, telling you that I made a huge mistake and not quarantining my fish, I'm hoping that this will be a lesson for all of you and so you will avoid making the same mistake I did. In the future, I plan on making many update videos on this tank. You can follow along with me and see how everything progresses, see the new betas I put in, and also maybe I'll try cord cats again after I quarantine them. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see those update videos and I'll see you next time.